Hello mentors in this video we will learn how we can create our own document scanner app using MIT App Inventor so let me show you the demo of this app first then we will create this app using this app you can scan any document or you can make a PDF file of that document so let me show you the example of that so just click on that take picture option and you can scan any document like let me just scan that document just click on that okay and then right click on that and then we just need to put file name suppose tcb file and then click on create and save pdf now you can see the, your pdf file is tcb file dot pdf is created click on ok now go to your file manager scroll down and you can see tcb file dot pdf and open that pdf file like this and here you can see that one is your pdf file is here so here we go so we need to click on the start new project and my project name is doc scanner and then OK. Now we need to design our app. So I'm going to take one here layout. So just drag and drop your one layout is vertical arrangement and make this one width and height is fill parent like this. And now we need to add one label here like this. And we need to add one image, then one button for take picture, one text box to add our PDF file name and one more button for for saving the saving our PDF file. So click on that button and change that button name to like take picture and change the design of that button something like that. Cool. And you can make that 16 like this and just copy paste the head button here and change that button to like save file like this and I'm going to change that uh, one to as a another thing like this yellow now I'm going to change that vertical arrangement background color also so click on vertical arrangement and change that background color to something like let me just try this one it's working fine yeah it's cool now but I'm going to change that to one more thing like let me just try with that tab. good now let me just change that label to like image image preview and make this one at least 30 and then change that text color to white something like that and make all that things in a center everything like this now let me just Click on that image picture and then make this height as like at least in a percentage you can make it 40 and then make this one with is like fill parent or make this one in a 90 or 80 percent something like that cool now that's your image it's a image preview and then take picture that's your text box where you can put your file name and that is the save file you can make your one label here to make some space between both button so like this and just copy paste that label and make paste it here like this and you can change that text box also like you can make this with this 80 percent like this or you can make this 70 percent it look cool and then you can make that uh, height is 10 percent yeah 10 percent fine now click on the text box and change that hint text to file name fine like this now we need your one camera component so in the left side you'll find media just drag and drop that camera option here now we need to use your one notifier also so click on that user interface and you will get the notifier here drag and drop this here now we need one extension here so open the new tab and just type here kio4 pdf extension enter after searching this just open that link i will give you that link in the description okay and we need to download that extension aix file click on that link wait some seconds scroll down and you can see the aix file download this go to the mit app inventor in the left side you will find extension option here click on import extension and then import your extension like this and import it and drag and drop that file like this here now we have a pdf file extension notifier camera some button and images now let's go to the block section 
and whenever someone open our screen or open the app so we need to ask for permission because we are saving the file so in a slice whenever we screen one in a slice then we have to call your permission block so just search just click anywhere in the screen and just type here ask permission for permission call this component here and we need to call your one text and we just need to write here and write we need to make all that uh, text in the capital so make sure write oh i'm sorry make it in the caps uh, w r i t write and underscore external external storage like this cool now whenever someone click on that button button bone it means when someone click on the take picture button go to the blog so click on that button and whenever someone click on that so we have to call our camera click on camera and get the camera take picture and after taking the picture it means click on the camera component and get that block after picture we have to set that picture in that image so set image dot picture and you'll get here this one call this component delete that one and call that image here and make sure we have to hide that label also so go to the design you can see the image preview label one so we have to hide that text so image preview text we have to hide so it's set label one dot text so like set label text visible make this one false like this cool now we need to call your one component like whenever we click on that uh, save file so this will create that layout is like a pdf file actually that extension will create the pdf file of that whole layout so what i need to do i need to hide that one or you can make sure make sure this should be like uh, let me just try this make sure that should all the things in the out of our layout so you can do one thing here you can change that uh, click on that screen make this one in a center align vertical is the center and change that background color similar to that vertical arrangement one so custom copy that uh, color cancel this click on that screen and change that background color and then like custom and then just change that design like this sorry this done and just drag and drop all that things here after your layout or like out of that layout like this cool it's uh, it looks similar now it's simple now we need to go to the block section and we need to click on whenever someone click on button 2 it means save pdf file then we have to create a pdf file so do that click on that extension and you can see the add page layout that one so just call this here and the layout is like vertical arrangement this one so just drag and drop that here like this and the width i'm to make this one is and just drag and drop that here and make sure that the width is like 500 and the height is you can make it like uh, 1100 something like that it's just our layout uh, file size something like that now we need to click on that again that uh, here plugin uh, sorry extension option and you will get here option is finish just call this here this one finish now we need to do one more thing here we need to create a pdf file it means first of all we have to create a pdf file then we can add page so how we can create a pdf file so do that click on that extension option here and you can see here the create pdf here option is create name pdf so what is the name of our pdf the name of the pdf file is we will get it from our text box this one so text box one dot text so we need to use here join option click on text and you can see here join this one call it here so our pdf file name should be this one or text one dot text and then we will use your one predefined extension it means like dot pdf like this or you can make it a, in a small okay pdf extension that is the extension now our file name then we will create we have created the pdf blank pdf then we have added the page and the layout is vertical arrangement one and then we have finished that pdf file in the third step now we need to do one more thing here we can display the notifier okay so how we can display so it's simple click on the notifier option and you can see here so we can see that the show message dialog this one just call it here and here we need, just need to call that text is like simply 
just call it here and just say like your PDF file your PDF file is saved okay and then the title is like a status or something like that a status or something like that something and then in the button one text you can make it an okay or something like that okay and you can make this the one more thing here you can see this one is with the only one button so i will make this one not oh i'm sorry it's a choose dialog box i'm going to make it this here title is like uh, this one a status and the button is like okay and just let me just delete this cool and that's the overall thing we have four blocks here right now and it's the simple thing if you need any help on that so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problem thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye